And if you are at home and you're still unsure of the rights you have when it comes to cancel flights or exactly what you're covered for, Travel Extra editor Owen Corey joins me now with his advice. And good morning to you, Owen. Good morning, Karen. Uh, under, I suppose, legislation, what exactly does Ryanair have to offer those inconvenienced passengers? They have to, it's very simple. They have to get you from the point you're leaving to the point you're supposed to get, not an airline, not an airport near it. They're, it's their job to get you there now. They have um, the way it works with uh, a major incident like this. There's, you know, the, the number of flights, 15 in each direction, would be the equivalent of a weather-related incident or something like that. It's not a large number of flights. They got in touch in advance with everybody from Tuesday to say, these are your options. Um, they are saying to passengers, do not rebook yourself. We will do it for you. Interestingly, Kira, um, in back in September, when they ran into the rostering problem, they had a policy of not booking with alternative airlines. Mm -hmm. They have changed that. They are putting passengers on alternative airlines. And the big news for Irish customers is that includes Aer Lingus. Not all airlines, there's about five named airlines. They also... Do they it, have to do that? Uh, they, they, have, they don't have to book you on an alternative airline. Um, that wasn't clear, but it did look like they would be forced into a situation by the consumer rights people uh, to they were basically dragged into this situation and then uh, did the deal with five airlines because uh, their model of of, uh, of their airline model their business model is very different than for instance Lufthansa uh, um, Air France airlines like that they do not rebook on those they do rebook on airlines like Aer Lingus and EasyJet the consumer and the famous 2004 261 EU consumer legislation gives passengers the right to compensation. It isn't clear whether a strike action by IALPA is, a, is extraordinary circumstances. Ryanair could conceivably plead that. But what has changed in the last two or three years is the European rulings have, got, have more or less started accepting that strike action is now within the remit of the airline. And it will be very interesting if the compensation thing comes into play, will it be contested by Ryanair? Now, if the alternative flight that they offer you isn't suitable for whatever reason, you are entitled to a refund, a full refund. Full refund. That sometimes works, but for many people, they will have booked so many months ago that uh, the price of an alternative flight at this stage is not uh, is not going to get you anywhere. Um, so do possibly negotiate. the best option is to go for the rerouting as and, soon and, as and possible. And do they have to look you have after you? Yes. In the interim. So you expected to get to the airport at 10 o'clock this morning. Your next flight is until 6 o'clock this evening. You have eight hours in the airport. Do Ryanair have to look after you for that period of time? Well, if they've notified you in advance that it, the flight has changed and you're, you arrive in the airport, that comes into that compensation area. The re reality is that they moved well, They moved on Tuesday afternoon. It was very unusual, actually, for the flights to be cancelled in advance of the breakdown in negotiations, which was a bit of an inevitability yesterday. And uh, Ryanair jumped a little bit early on it, notified the passengers. And the other very important thing is they protected the sun routes. They have uh, cancelled 15 flights to London, Birmingham, Leeds, Bradford, places like that. What happens if you were flying to Leeds or uh, London or Birmingham for a connecting flight elsewhere with a completely different airline. This is interesting. This is not that their responsibility. Traditionally, Ryanair say separate booking, you're on your own. What has been happening is anybody who has a connecting flight has been uh, looking for an earlier flight. Yeah, generally, the trunk route like London, if you're getting in and Gatwick and Stansted are not big connecting air, air, airports, but people have been using um, them as self-connecting airports. Um, they, they've they been moving people to earlier flights rather than later flights. The big question here was, what they, did they have the capacity to do it? Because it's a very, very busy time. They say they have. That remains to be seen. We'll be, see what happens with the 15 outbound and 15 What I would imagine Owen, was very um, unsatisfactory for people who were traveling was the fact that you didn't know up until Tuesday evening what what the situation was on Thursday and that. as a passenger you couldn't ring them 10 days and go and say look it looks likely like there's going to be strike action I want to know what my options are 
And not only that, but the noise being made by Alpha was that the operation was being closed down. They closed down uh, 30 out of the 300 flights. So what what I think has been happening here is they've been, IALPA have been looking, have they the numbers to cause a serious um, impact on Ryanair's operation? From Ryanair's side, have we the ability to fly through this? Uh, I, Ryanair flew through a previous pilot strike in Italy in February and a cabin crew strike in April in Portugal. We will see more of these threats and the threat is more important in today's aviation world. The threat is more important the than the actual strike. The uncertainty that that creates. Uncertainty is a weapon. It affects the bookings and it really, really terrifies people. And it really is very hard for anyone sitting out here to work out what this strike is about. It seems to be all about procedure and, as you say, bad blood. Bad blood and muscle flexing. From previous times. And we're going to probably see more of it because last week has been a recruitment drive by Alpa. Okay, we have to leave it there, but thank you all for joining us this morning. I have a funny feeling we may be speaking to you again, but hopefully not before the end of the summer.